Uh -oh. First, let me turn this down. If you could probably, you'll probably hear it in the background. But I'm watching What's Wrong with Secretary Kim on Vicky, which is a K drama. Uh, I think I'm on like episode. Oh, episode nine. That's the episode after they like finally kissed when he had like the what I call it the American flag outfit with the red striped shirt, red and white striped shirt, and then the blue tie with stars on it. But, um, in most of my videos that I've posted, I usually do my face first and then do my eyes. This one, I'm going to do my eyes first because I feel like it might be a little messy. Uh, and I kind of don't know for sure what I want to do. I have an idea, but I don't know how it's going to turn out. So I'm going to start out with my eyes first and then I'll do my face. I wanted to try something different for my, how I do my face too. But, um, for most of the tutorial, I'm going to be using the Urban Decay Vice palette. I think this is the Vice 3. The one with like the oil slick design and since i'm going to be doing a saint patty's day look i'm going to be using these this row right here and then i'm also going to be using this uh color pop um it's one of the jelly much eyeshadows it's really pretty that's what it looks like I think this was the one inspired by the Little Mermaid, I think. Maybe not. It says not today. So I'm not sure. Could be Maleficent, because she's... Is she green? I don't remember. Anyways. <laughs> I'm going to start off... I'm going to actually use this color first. And I'm going to put that in my crease. Alright, so I should be using a primer, but I threw out all the primers that I had because they were old. And I was like, I don't even use these, so I'm not going to buy any more. So, I'm just going to be putting this all straight up on my skin. So, the colors probably won't be popping as much as I would like. But, you know, we'll work with what we got. <laughs> Driving round with my baby Top drops and raindrops Motion got me all faded My heart Got me going all crazy And I and I never took the cover off the mirror So I'm gonna go in with This This one's called Arctic Okay, doesn't seem like it goes with that, but okay. <laughs> I'm just like staring at it like, really? Okay. Who am I to judge? What have I been up to? You ask. Not much. Um, work has been a little crazy. Um, the girl that I work with, 
in my section of programming, her mom had surgery, so she was out for the week. Um, I haven't talked to her. I usually do, but I haven't talked to her, so I figured she's been helping her mom. She's been kind of busy, so I didn't want to bother her. Uh, I feel like I did something. I shouldn't have did. <laughs> I want to bring it in more. I think I am. I'm going to blend it in I'm a little bit more. I am not a makeup artist. I just like. To. Attempt. Makeup looks. Because I think it's fun. I probably. I don't expect anything to come. For me doing these videos I like editing actually it takes me a while sometimes because I don't want to look at a computer sometimes after I've been looking at one all day for eight hours for work and sometimes I'm just like no I'm over it I can't do it today or if I do I'll do like 30 minutes and then I'm like I'm done I'm not gonna do it <laughs> the rest of the day <laughs> And then I'll look at my phone, which is also like a computer screen, so. <laughs> I don't get that. But anyway. Okay, so. This is that part right here. No, don't. Let's ignore. And then I'm going to use this. And I think these are like supposed to be like jelly, but they've been in a cold spot so they are not the jelly texture is not as great as you would think <laughs> Alright, so I'm gonna take this. Let me clean it. I'm about to swatch it. Clean it off on this eyeshadow swatcher that I got on Yes Style. You can tell it makes cleaned up a little bit. Just a tad. Yeah, we're just gonna buff and blend. And try to get this together a little bit because it's looking a little crazy.
So this is kind of the eye look. I'm not going to do everything else because next I'm going to do my face. So let me go put all this eye stuff away. Oh my god, there's like glitter flying around. I'm going to go put all the eye stuff away and then get the rest of the stuff that I need. All right. So next I'm going to move on with my face and hopefully I don't look too crazy by the end of this. So I was watching Jordan Liberty, who's a makeup artist, uh, a professional makeup artist, and he actually just came back to YouTube. He was gone for quite a while because uh, he was battling cancer. Um, and he talked about a new technique. Well, it's not a new technique. It's his technique. Um, his approach on an uh, old technique, which is trying to keep oil at bay. And since I'm an oily skin babe, I decided I was going to try his um, version because I've seen the Jackie Ina one where she, well, she actually has changed it up since um, she first talked about it, where she does her moisturizer, which I already have on, and she does a powder, and then she does her foundation. Um, Jordan Liberty, his, um, is, uh, similar to what she's doing currently. So now, um, he says to moisturize and then powder, which I'm going to use this Airspun Cody powder. And it's supposed to be translucent, but if you use too much, if I use too much, I'll look like Casper. But I'm going to use that as my powder. And I'm going to try and do a light layer all over. My face. You can look at me now and tell, bitch or Casper. But, you know, we're going to fix it. Okay. <laughs> this is just the powder part. Okay. So, we did powder. I'm probably not going to use this anymore. For the rest of the look. Because I usually don't. That's why it's going to last forever. Uh, and then I'm going to use my Urban Decay D-Slick. And I haven't used this in a while, but it's almost gone. Uh, because I was using it after I did my foundation, and it actually made me more oily. So I was like, fuck you, bitch. You can chill over there until I think of a way to use you again. Thanks, Jordan Liberty. <laughs> so I'm going to uh, do my setting spray. And let that dry down. You can tell, like, like no, bitch. This is your real skin color. Gross. <laughs> I'm gonna let that set. Let that dry down. My sweater's all damp, but we gonna be all right. But, Anywho, um, like I was saying, my co-worker, she actually has been out for the week, and I'm the only one who's been doing uh, my, well, both of our parts for uh, programming, and uh, thank goodness they had overtime, so I got most of it caught up, some of it, hopefully she can get the rest of it when she comes in tomorrow, if she comes in tomorrow, I'll find out on Tuesday, since I'm off on Mondays. But I did get good news that um, I'm going to be going to general programming, hopefully by April, and I'm really excited. So 
I'll have, I'll work Monday through Friday and I have regular weekends off. Though I did enjoy Saturday or having Sunday and Monday off, I'm tired of working on Saturdays. <laughs> so we gonna do that. Okay, so moisturized uh, uh, powder uh, setting spray, which is dried down. And then he said does primer next. So I'm going to be using this Black Radiance. Um, this is for oily skin. But it's almost gone. Like I'm like dipping into the corners to get shit. And I warm it up on my fake or on my hands and then just press it in. my face all over because my whole face gets freaking oily which is weird I guess it's not because I kind of did it to myself and it's probably what my real skin was supposed to be for the longest I um would use alcohol because my cousin's like just use alcohol as a toner so I did that for a while you know that freaking dries your skin out <laughs> not the move also when I was younger the um apricot scrub was like all the rage and that shit's actually not good for you so that fucked my skin up and then for a while I used to do my own chemical peels which actually that shit was amazing and I think I want to start doing it again but I'm gonna hold off now that I prep my skin with the Jordan Liberty uh, oily skin fighter combo uh, I'm gonna go in with my cover girl the matte made true blend and this is uh, almost gone and I haven't been wearing much makeup because it's almost gone. You got it going on, she just yelled at her boss, the vice chairman, <laughs> for doing her work. Because he's just trying to help her out and be a good boyfriend. But she's like, you're compromising. my job position and making me look incompetent especially since she's supposed to be leaving <laughs> she wants to do her best job before she leaves oh I need some more for my big dome forehead. I don't think that'll be enough. Definitely not. Down a heartbeat. Do me a favorite song. I'll put it on repeat. I can wait for you forever. Oh, you can tell, like, if I don't shake that foundation up, it makes me look freaking orange. And I'm not here for it. That's why I didn't like Fenty, even though I love Rihanna. I should oxidize down and have me looking, walking around looking like a pumpkin head. Pumpkin head a bitch. You can't match your foundation. And hit that hairline, honey. You looking crazy, baby. There we go. <laughs> I'm on the fence on what foundation. I want to try the new Shiseido Shiseido uh, foundation. I want to try the new Shiseido Shiseido foundation because uh, I've been hearing good things about it. I want to try the El Maquillage one. Um, and I also want to 
go back to either Smashbox or Lancome. Because those two are my, were like, those are like holy grails. But when new shit comes out, I want to try new shit. I don't want to keep buying the same thing. But I should because I know it'll work. But you know, sometimes I get swayed. So this is my foundation and actually it doesn't look too bad after it dried down. And I'm going to do my brazos. And you know what game I've been playing um, that I really like? It's called um, Survivor. They probably, they'd like do ads and stuff on uh, what game? Merge Dragon? Because I was playing Merge Dragon for a while, but I'm kind of over it. And I've been playing this Survivor game. And you have to, like, you start out in your underwear, like, bra and underwear, bra and underwear, because my person looks like me. And so she's a woman, so she starts off, you start off in your bra and underwear. And, like, basically, you have to fight to survive, like, to get everything. You have to go buy, or not buy. You can buy stuff if you want to, but I don't plan on spending any money on this game. Um, you forage for food. Like, you go to these. The first ones that you can actually get to are, like, these forest areas. And you get, like, wood. You pick up branches and pebbles. And after you get so many, get so many, get so many... You can actually create, or they call it craft, you can craft uh, an axe and then go and chop down trees to get wood. And then with these pieces of wood, like you can do, um, you can create a pickaxe. So the boulders, there's like bigger rocks. You can tear those apart to get smaller rocks to create that you can use to create stuff. And you like start off when you start off, you have like your own little house or shelter that you take care of. And you go, oh my eyebrows look. They're looking all right to me. I don't, I don't, I don't do that much with my brows. But, um, you start off with your own little house that you take care of. And, like, the more rocks and wood you get, the more you can, like, fortify the actual house. And, I'm um, right now I'm to the point where, because first you, the f first starting off, you get, like, the level one house walls, which are, like, three little pigs, like, straight up made out of sticks. And I'm right now to the part where I have wood planks <laughs> for my house to be fortified. And then after that, you can, when you first start off, you get the, like, the, I think it would be, like, the third upgrade, which is, like, um, rock, sheet rock, or, um, for your walls. So, because every 24 hours, there's, like, a horde of zombies that come through, traipsing through your little area, and they tear up stuff. Like, they don't tear up, um, like, these little crates that you can have where you can store stuff that you found around different areas you can go to. They don't tear that up, but they keep tearing your walls up. And if your walls get tore up, if there are other survivors, because other people can play the game, they can just go into your stuff, and they can steal your stuff. They can steal all your stuff. So you have to keep going to check after the horde's gone through to see if they've torn anything up. And they just tore my shit up, like, the last time I checked. And I built, like, a couple things to try and deter them. Um, like, I have, I forget, they're called spikes, and I have the spikes, like, set around 
areas of my house where if they walk into them like they'll get impaled and they won't make it um, they won't make it to the actual walls to tear them up oh these is this I actually don't know if I want to put on foundation because I actually like how this looks but we go into and I'm gonna use the Maybelline instant age rewind eraser multi-use concealer I don't try to use that much, but and I I waxed my <laughs> upper lip today. That shit had me crying. My eyes watered so bad. Because usually I was using that uh black mask it basically has like glue in it the charcoal one that was like all the rage i was using that but now i'm like freaked out because they said it's bad for your skin because it enlarges your pores so i'm like well my pores all my cheeks are already bad enough I would. I would freaking tap on this napkin where I wipe my fingers on the eyeshadow. It looks like I was snorting green glitter. <laughs> I no longer try to use a brush or anything under my eyes when I do my concealer. I'm using like my ring fingers. I got this also from another YouTuber. I can't think of his name. He's like newer. He's a, well, the girls are questioning his credibility to, if he's a professional. But he has a twin brother, and his twin brother does skincare videos, and he does makeup. But he said to use your fingers on your concealer. Because using a brush can mess up the delicate skin under your eyes. <laughs> I've been doing this when I put my concealer under my eyes. Oh, looks pretty good. Way better than it did from the beginning. When I was looking cool for a cray. And next is eyeliner. And I'm going to be using my McQueen Mac Queen uh, New York eyeliner. And we going for big wing today. And actually, I've been, instead of trying to angle, I've just been going out. Close till I get up Time is barely on our side I don't wanna waste what's left The storms we chase are leading us And love is all we'll ever trust Yeah, No, I don't wanna waste what's left And on and on we'll go Through the wastelands, through the highways Till my shadow turns to sun rays And on and on we'll go Through the wastelands, through the highways 